The beautiful and spectacular Bel Air Country Club was the scene for this high-profile charity event. Located on Clearwater Bay and built over 120 years ago, it was the first golf course established in Florida and once again served as the perfect backdrop for today's luncheon. Hello everybody and welcome to this Good Life Tampa Bay exclusive. Today we're at the historic and beautiful Bel Air Country Club for the third annual Denim and Diamonds charity event benefiting Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay charity. Let's check it out. The third annual Denim and Diamonds charity luncheon is once again benefiting Hands Across the Bay. Devin Pappas and her amazing network once again rallied the community to come together with almost 400 people at today's sold out luncheon. Let me tell you, people shined in their favorite blue jeans and diamonds and enjoyed a glitzy afternoon with a delightful and delicious brunch sparkling cocktails, silent auctions, and surprises, all to support Hands Across the Bay. It's all about the community helping each other. I really believe that we need to work together to help each other. And with Julie's foundation started 10 years ago, and I just met her, and it just seemed like a natural fit. This is just amazing. I mean, Devin, Leaf and their entire team at Pure Life and, and Harbor Living Magazine, they put all this together, amazing amount of friends and supporters come and attend this every year. It's amazing. Dr. Fitzgerald and his lovely wife, Philippe, from Pure Life Metaspa, were honored to contribute as the presenting sponsor. These people, they go to work, they pay taxes, they just need a little help now and again. So this is not a charity where it's sustainable, where they just keep getting money and money. They, they got to qualify. And Steve and Julie run a tight ship. So I can't do enough for them. Today's event had it all. It featured live music by a mariachi band, as well as many local celebrities and personalities who came out to get behind this great cause. You get up close and personal with the victims here. They actually come and they tell their stories and it breaks your heart. It makes you want to reach out even more. And it, every time I come here, I leave feeling so happy to be able to help these people. Well, you know, me being a local kid out of St. Petersburg, you know, this is a resource that we need. You know, we have to have something like this, and I really appreciate that they take the initiative to get out in the community and to get it done. So, uh, an amazing event. I'm always happy to be a part of it, and uh, we need everybody to support it. Be able to help people um, get through some traumatic things is uh, very important. Um, I had a lot of people help me uh, and get to where I am today, and living life to the fullest, and you know, just enjoying it. Steve and Julie Weintraub and their hands across the bay team. We're so touched by today's outpour of support. They do an absolutely amazing job. They make it so easy for our small Hands Across the Bay team just to kind of show up and just be the face of Hands Across the Bay when we come. There's not a whole lot of running around because they are doing everything. There's so many volunteers. It's absolutely incredible. All these people are here and all this is done. The community support that we have, it really is unbelievable. And the value cannot be understated because I literally, this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for them. We are really blessed because at Hands Across Bay, we are such a small team. Uh, we call ourselves small but mighty. Part of the reason we are so mighty is because of Devin and Lauren, Andy, and the rest of the committee who has come together to, you know, join hands with us, join arm with us, and say, we believe in the mission of Hands Across the Bay, and we're going to support you. Oh, it's been incredible. We definitely raised the bar this year. We've raised a lot more money than we thought we were going to. Um, we got everyone in their fields, which is awesome. Um, but really tonight, I think we displayed true heroism, just through the, the survivors and my mom and Melissa just oh it's been awesome. It was amazing. Over 70 sponsors joined in and supported today's luncheon. How do you sum it up? This is an amazing event. Again for the third year in a row. It's great. And these guys, I mean the, the amount of money they donate and their this guy's heart is just incredible. Well it's the Devin and Mark to do all the hard work and to get us there and together all these five years. It's a team. It's all my wife and the committee. But those girls come over to our house every Wednesday night for like almost a whole year. They're amazing. It's teamwork, and the most important thing is the community benefits. The team. All the money stays local. All the money stays local. That's the key, what I love. You know, one of the great things that I love about this event is getting up close and personal with those being helped with the money raised today. The brave women that get out of this domestic violence situation, I'm a domestic violence advocate. I'm always trying to fight for them and empowering them. And as soon as I met Julie, I don't know, five years ago, it was just an instant connection because we had so much in common to help these women and, and families. It's super exciting to be here, be able to you know, have everybody see Naomi too and be here to support Hands Across the Bay, who's of course been supporting and helping everyone else. They mean the world to me because to be honest, I would not be as 
happy and healthy as I am right now if they weren't there to help me and support me through this whole entire thing. And so she's a local entrepreneur, incredible designer. She uses a lot of sparkles in her business. So uh, when the committee found out about her winning our Miss Fearless title, they booked her immediately for this event. It's so awesome here. Thanks so much. So Mackenzie comes in and she does she works really hard for to make kindness acts and go out into the community. We've also gone to laundry mats and handed out laundry detergents and we've made some cards for our board members. And so we got her some business cards as well. So she's a kindness warrior. It means so much because I am able to share my story and really just tell people who I am. If I need anything, it's they are the first person to ask if I don't have any other option. Now, in addition to the silent auction, there was also a live auction with some very special, unique items. Anytime you know, I get the chance just to tell my story, I feel so proud about it. And any chance I get to just kind of, you know, give back to the community and just what this bottle brought, you know, that's insignificant to what really it's going for. And it's Julie's Hands Across Tampa Bay. These guys on horseback risking their lives for like little old us. And you realize what heroes they are and it makes you feel small. That you really need to give back and you need to help other people when you can. Oh my God, excited. <laughs> I, am, I am choosing, I'm choosing this one. Atta girl. Uh, thank you. Those in attendance were so touched by today's event that helped raise over $111,000 to support Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay Charity. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out and supporting the third annual Denim and Diamonds. We truly appreciate your support year after year, and we look forward to seeing everybody again next year. Thank you to everyone who is here today for Denim and Diamonds. We appreciate you so much. Thanks. Thank you guys so much, everyone that's attended Denim and Diamonds 2019. Everyone that supported means so much to Hands Across the Bay. And I hope that when you see the work we're doing in the community, you remember what a big part each and every one of you played in that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, selling out in four weeks because of you guys and just the money that we raise for this foundation it, it can't be done without the community and your support and the local businesses and thanks everyone i love hands across the bed wow what an absolutely incredible afternoon of giving that's a wrap from the belly or country club from the third annual denim and diamonds charity event benefiting julie weintraub's hands across the bay charity for good life tampa bay i'm h john mejia Hey, get involved. Support Hands Across the Bay. Just go to their website at handsacrossthebay.org. Now that's handsacrossthebay.org.